In this section, we're going to be looking at how to use different generic breakpoints. The first generic breakpoint that we're going to be looking at in this video is called the exception breakpoint. Generic breakpoints are not added to a particular file or a particular line of code. They are added to the entire project and waiting to execute when the conditions are met. Let me show you how we're going to achieve that. Let's go back to the main storyboard. Here I have two view controller. One is red and the other one is green. The idea is when I click on the show VZ button, the button here that says show VZ. When I click on this button, I want to present this view controller. What I've done is to create an ID action for this show VC button. Inside the view controller, the Swift, I have the show VC ID action. So let's write some code to present that view controller. The first thing we need to do is to get access to the storyboard. Let storyboard. So we need the storyboard object equals to UI storyboard. And then we want to initialize that with the storyboard name. Our storyboard name is called main. So let's pass main. And then the bundle, we're just going to say new. So that means it's going to choose the default bundle. Something else that I forgot to show you is that if we go back to the storyboard, the view controller that we need to present, we have to give it a name. So if you select that view controller and go to the identity inspector, you can see that I have a storyboard ID for the second view controller, which I've called second VC. So we need a way to identify this particular view controller on the storyboard. So the identifier that I gave it is the second VC. So let's go back to the uh, view controller.swift and then we can initialize that particular view controller. So let VC, which means view controller, equals to storyboard. Then we want to initialize a view controller with an identifier. So let's choose this particular option. And then the identifier is going to be second VC. Once we have the view controller, we can simply just present the view controller VC and animated, we're going to say true. If we run this code, we should be able to see the view controller being presented because we're initializing the second VC from the main to storyboard and then presenting it. So let's run this code. Show VC and there you have it. We are able to present the view controller. So how do we get an exception? Let's create a situation where we have an exception in our program. So I'm going to change the name of the storyboard here. I'm going to pretend I make a mistake and put a man instead of main. So let's run the application again. If I should click on this button now, we should get a crash. And as you can see, we have a crash. And if we look inside of the console area, the debug area, you can see that it says terminating app due to an uncaught exception. So that means we have an exception in our program. It gives you a very good reason could not find a storyboard named man in bondu ns bondu even though this information is very useful because you've written the code imagine a situation where you're not the person that actually writes the code you simply inherited the code so you may not know exactly in your code where to find this particular line of code to fix the problem this is why it is very important to add a few generic breakpoints to your program the one that we need is called the exception breakpoint which is very useful for a situation where we have an exception in your program. So let me show you how that works. So let's go to the breakpoint navigator. You can see the second to the last option here. Click on that. At the bottom here, you see a plus icon. So click on that. These are all the generic breakpoints on Xcode. So let's add an exception breakpoint. And it's just going to present you with few options. You don't need to worry about any of this option. Just click away to make it disappear. So now you can see that we do not have any particular file name or line number beside our exception. Uh, for example, let me show you. Let me stop the program and go back to vcontroller.swift. If I should add a breakpoint here and then go to the breakpoint inspector, you can see that the one I added was inside the vcontroller.swift and is on line 11. So this means it's added to a particular file, but we don't need this one. So I'm going to drag it away to delete it. But the generic breakpoints, they're not added to any particular file. They're added to the entire project. The idea is that whenever you have an Xcode project, you add all of these generic breakpoints so that it can help you. But let me show you how it is useful. If we should run the program again and create the same crash. So let's uh, crash the application. You can see that this time it doesn't take us to the app delegate. 
it tells us exactly the line that was causing the problem. So before we added it, uh, I didn't point that out previously. So I'm going to delete the exception breakpoint. I'm going to run the app. If you do not have an exception breakpoint, the application is not going to tell you exactly the line where the crash happened. You can see that it simply took us to the app delegate. So you do not know which line of code is causing this issue. But if you go to the breakpoint inspector and add a generic breakpoint of exception breakpoint and then run the app, it will take you to the exact line where the crash happened. The reason is because the exception breakpoint pauses the app just before the exception was thrown. So before the exception happened in your program, the application pauses the execution and shows you the line that is going to throw the exception. So this is why it is very useful. You should always add the exception breakpoint as a generic breakpoint to any Xcode project that you have. In this video, we learned how to use the exception breakpoints.